All right, Dr. Dosman, here is my conducting final. I'm going to play and pause your video so I can uh, conduct the examples in order. So let's see, here you go. The first part of your exam are conducting cues. Now we all know that with cues comes a prep. So remember to have a prep before your cue. The first example, please conduct one measure of two and on the second measure, cue with the left hand on beat one. Okay, one measure of two and then cue on beat one. So one, two, or I could do one, two, okay. Second example, please conduct one measure of three and on the second measure, cue with the left hand, beat two. So one measure of three and then cue on beat two. One, two, three, four. okay. One, two, three, one, two. Or one, two, three, one, two. Okay. Third example. Please conduct one measure of three and on the second measure, cue with the left hand, beat three. One measure of three, cue beat three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. Fourth example. Please conduct one measure of four and on the second measure, cue with the left hand, beat four. So one measure of four, Q beat four of the second measure. <clears throat> one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Pshaw. Okay. Fifth example. Please conduct one measure of four and on the second measure, Q with the left hand, beat three. One measure of four, Q beat three. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Or one, two, three. I've got a bunch of gestures, but those are my go-tos. <laughs> All right. Final example. Please conduct one measure of four and on the second measure, cue with the left hand, beat two. Okay. One measure of four, cue beat two. One, two, three, four, one, two. Now we come to the second portion of your exam, ending consonants, which are unique to choral singing. We're going to do just a few of these. We're going to have you conduct the word might for four beats, might. showing the ending T on beat one of the subsequent measure. So conduct one measure, then conduct the word might in the subsequent measure and put the T on beat one of the third measure. So my, so one, two, three, four, might. Okay. One, two, three, four, might. Or I could do one, two, three, four, might. Kind of like a nice tuh, because you don't really close, just tuh. Okay. The next example, you'll conduct the word makes, and it's going to be over a three pattern. You'll conduct one measure in three, conduct the next measure with the word makes, and put the KS on beat one of the third measure. Okay, so one measure of nothing makes for three downbeat cutoff. One, two, three, makes. Or I could just do one, two, three, makes. Yeah, okay. Now we get to fermata with consonants. I'm going to combine these two so that you can show that you can do both. And we're going to use a very common word that we find in choral music that incorporates these fermata. We're going to conduct 
the word amen, both syllables you will formata, and then you're going to close to the end and give a clear release. So you're going to conduct the word amen, both syllables will have formata, and you will close to the end at the men and give a clear release. Okay, so I guess I'll do it two ways, with a short N and with a long N. So I guess the short N would be... Amen. Or the long N would be... Amen. Yeah. I think so. Now we will move on to expression. With expression, I'm going to ask you to conduct crescendos and decrescendos. So the first example, you conduct one measure at a moderate tempo in four. Then on the subsequent measure, begin to decrescendo with the left hand over the course of two measures. Okay, so one bar. So at a moderate tempo in four, like uh, assuming we're loud or mezzo forte or above, decrescendo for two bars. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, sorry, the camera angle's weird. It looks like my hand's way higher than it is. Let me try that again. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. My four pattern got a little bit messed up, but okay. The second example, you will conduct one measure at a quick tempo in three, and in the subsequent measure, crescendo with the left hand over the course of one measure. So one bar of three, fast tempo, like one, two, three, one, two, three, big crescendo over one measure. One, two, three, one, two, three. Eh. One, two, three, one, two, three. Let me start lower. One, two, three, one, two, three. Hmm. The third example, you conduct one measure at a slow tempo in two and crescendo with the left hand in the following measure over the course of four measures. So, okay. Um, crescendo slowly over four measures. So one bar for nothing and then crescendo for bar. Four measures. One, two, one, two. Ah, uh, no, no, sorry, let me start again. One, two, one, two, 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 three, two, four, two. Yeah. Your final example. You conduct one measure at a tempo of your choosing in four and decrescendo with the left hand in the following measure over the course of three measures. So, wait, did you say, was it four? And decrescendo with the left hand in the following measure, one measure at a tempo of your choose. Uh, sorry. And your final example, you conduct one measure at a tempo of your choosing in four, in four and decrescendo with the left hand in the following measure over the course of three measures. Okay, so a tempo of my choosing in four, four, decrescendo over three bars. So one bar for nothing, decrescendo four, uh, for three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that'll work. I wish you all well during this trying time. Please continue to social distance. 
and I look forward to seeing everyone in person in the fall. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful summer. Thank you, Dr. Dosman. I hope you have a wonderful summer and I will see you in the fall. Woo! Thank you.